A New View is my first EP, it came out in 2011, so it's quite a few years ago now. Basically, I wrote all these songs while I was studying at the Brit School, and when I graduated I had a bit of spare time, so I thought, well, you know, I'll spend this time recording these songs that I've written, and let's just see what happens, and A New View was the result that sort of came out of that. I definitely like telling stories with stuff, and especially within the songs individually, but also as the EP as a whole kind of has a story that runs through it. And I guess that probably comes from my background in, in studying musical theatre and, and from, you know, writing musicals as well. The reason I decided to remaster the EP was because at the time when I released it, I didn't really know what I was doing. I mean, I just sort of sat down and recorded a few songs and just chucked it out there for the world to see and didn't really do anything to kind of help it or promote it or, or you know my mixing skills were sort of basic at best you know and and it was really just a kind of trial and error thing I'm not even sure if remaster is the right word because it's it's sort of bigger than that I've gone back and sort of literally mixed things mixed the audio from the ground up and sort of made it better really this whole process of, of remixing remastering whatever you want to call it kind of began when I was working on my new EP and it kind of became as an exercise just for me to to work on my mixing in general and just kind of like these are songs that you know you can do better so go back and mix them how you would now now that you've got a few more years of experience of doing that at the end of it I was sort of like this is much better than what I put out a few years ago even though it's the same songs I, just, I want everyone else to be able to listen to these songs as well the story of the song A New View is probably the easiest of all of them to follow it's literally in the lyrics it's about a man who doesn't like where he is, he isn't really happy with his life and so he sort of sets out to find a new view and find somewhere he sort of actually fits in. So it, it quite nicely sets up the entire album. It's kind of my transition as well from sort of my former life to then joining the Brit School and then sort of starting to work on what I really wanted to do. Feel the Sun is sort of about looking back a little bit and, and sort of how you perceive things as a kid and then when you come back to it as sort of an adult or as a kind of adult in my case, um, then you, you sort of go back to places and, and realise actually this wasn't quite what I thought it was like at the time. Uh, when I was a kid, summer holidays just seemed to be endless. You'd forget what day of the week it was and, and you'd just, you know, you'd finish school and then you'd just have this long break and it, was, it would seem to go on forever. And it was also sort of about the heat as well. When I was a kid, I remember it being sunny a lot more. You'd maybe get like one rainy day, but all the rest of the time it would be really sunny. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore. I don't know if it's global warming or just my perception. Stars of the Future is interesting because it was actually part of a film that I made. I created this web series uh, called Stars of the Future, which was all about these drama school students who were sort of wanting to become the next big thing. And you know, they were, they were all training to be musicians or all training to be actors or all training to be dancers. And they all wanted to become famous. And it was all this sort of like, it was kind of a parody on life of drama school, really. Um, in the series, I played this character who was sort of a, a musician and, and he wrote this song as part of it. The, the song is sort of like, we've, we've started a journey. Um, we're not stars yet, but we could be in the future. Some people won't necessarily make it. Some people will decide it's not the right path for them. Some people will go on and do well. And it's sort of like, at that moment in time, while you're training, you have no idea what the future holds for you. It's that kind of excitement for everything really kind of being there for you to take, but also the kind of the uncertainty of, is this going to work? Over and Out is directly related to the Brit School because when you graduate, there, um, the musical theatre students all have this sort of final show, which is called Over and Out, and basically you get a few minutes to do whatever you want. You get the stage to yourself and you can basically do whatever you want. And I wrote this song, I got a few friends together and we performed it, and that song was essentially the early beginnings of Over and Out. Um, it's, it's sort of developed and changed a bit since then. But essentially it's about, we've had a great time here. Look at what we've achieved here in, in these few years. And now we're sort of all going on our separate ways and this is probably the last time we'll all be together in this room. It, it, it fitted perfectly for the ending of the EP. It, it was the song that I basically sung for my graduation. It was the last thing I ever performed at the Brit School as a, an official student there. The rest of the songs on the album are sort of, you know, big in orchestrations and, and you know quite ambitious in what they do. Over and Out is sort of stripped it all back and it's just back to basics with me and a piano, how I started out. I sort of like that it doesn't try to finish by outdoing itself, it brings everything back in and sort of goes, this is okay, this is good, this is only the beginning, let's find some new adventures to go on.
So on this new version of the EP, there's two new songs, uh, kind of two bonus tracks, I guess. There's a remix of A New View. I find A New View really catchy. So I just thought, well, if I stick some synths to this and just sort of, you know, have that kind of driving beat, and it's sort of all about having fun anyway and just trying to find something that's fun. Um, so that sort of ends up on there. The final bonus track is a song called In The End, and the reason it didn't go on the EP originally was because I basically wrote it as I was finishing up the rest of the EP, so it was all ready to kind of go out and then this new song got written. It still kind of fitted though, so I thought as I was re-releasing it I might as well include it this time around. Essentially it's about not knowing what comes next. It's very reflective of what happened to me after I finished at the British School because I wasn't sure where I was going with my life. I knew what I wanted to do but I just didn't know how to do it and then suddenly all these opportunities opened up to me and it was sort of fantastic and that's sort of reflected in this song. It kind of, in a way, it's an epilogue to this EP but it's also a prologue for the next EP. You never sort of have a chapter where it's like, right, this is the end of this bit, now we're on to the next bit. Stuff kind of merges together and that's kind of what this song is. It's, it's the kind of the in-between moment, I guess. Re-releasing A New View is basically the start of the build-up for my second EP. Listening back to these songs has been really nice because I sort of don't write songs the same way anymore. Um, and the new EP especially is sort of sounds very different. I, I, it's sort of, my songwriting style has developed a lot. I'm also working on a music video for one of the songs on this EP. Uh, so that should be out very, very shortly, and I'm really excited about that. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. It's something I've wanted to do since the original EP came out and couldn't do at the time. Now I'm finally getting to do it. And it's also one of those things that's just slightly crazy and insane. It's just sort of like, I can't believe I'm actually getting to do this. So I'm really excited for everyone to see that. The EP is completely free. You don't have to pay anything for it. Um, and the best way to download it is basically go to my website. Uh, there should be links in the description, or if you're watching, there's a little box here, uh, click that and that will take you directly to the web page you need to go to and you can download it straight from that. I think that's everything, yeah. Cool, uh, we're done then. Excellent, thanks for watching, bye. <laughs>